Hey now, thank you for tuning in to Race Grooves. You might recognize this as one of my track time layouts. When I see Hot Wheels sets, I look at the parts and I say, hmm, can I use those parts? So when I seen this in the stores, I looked at it and I can't really use any of the parts. It's showing up in these discount stores like DD's Discounts, Ross, Dress for Less, Marshalls. I keep seeing that set, finally decided to buy it because I wanted to talk about it. I like buying parts. Power Loop, that's a very cool set. I used that curve right there. Cars go upside down. It's a curve, but it's a loop. Pretty cool. I got a few of those sets, actually. I did a review. That's where that part came from. Chris crash, Chris, like a crash part. It's right there, the intersection. So that part came from that. All these red pieces of track came from that set. That came from that set. These adjustable boosters, though. Mm, I got them from a, a 90 set called Max Tracks. I did a review on that as well. Coasting curves. Got them from the Super 6 and 1 set. This is just one of them. This, is, mm, this might be my oldest set. Here's one, a reissue of the Super 6 and 1 set. Uh, you see it has a purple base. Well, I had a black base, so that black base I probably got out of that set right there. Got a black base. Uh, check it out. Look at the stripes right there. Uh, it's a reddish orange color track, but it has yellow stripes. Well, <laughs> that's, that's where those came from as well. See, look. I bought a whole bunch of these sets, and then I just take the track and I just stack it up in there. Look at this. Orange track with silver sides. Hmm. Where did that come from? Which brings me back to this set here. I want you to take a look at it. I'm going to give you a few seconds. I'm not going to talk about it. I want you to look at it. And I want you to think, hmm, what do you think about that set? Check it out. Two lanes, two launchers. Comes around. Have a, looks like a, some type of stand right there, right? This lane starts on the outside, comes to the inside, inside, goes underneath. Cause, so what do we know about this? Hey, take down your opponent. It comes with finish line flags. That's pretty cool. Wait a second. If you have separate launchers, separate pieces of track, so who wins? It seems to me that both flags are going to pop up. Well, how do you take down your opponent? Let's take a look at the back here. Now, sometimes when... The reason why I'm doing this video different, I want you to look at what you're buying. Let's see, what do we have here? There's the two launchers. This time they have one, this one going underneath, coming around. And then there's two separate finish lines. Checker flag. Checker flag waves for the winner. How do you know the winner? It looks like they're not connected, are they? They sure don't look like they're connected. I could be wrong. I don't know until I open it up. Check out these curves. It looks like a different type of curve. It looks like something they specially molded just for this set here. Another thing, it doesn't look like the uh, track builder type track because when you look right here, there's a little, see that little, you experts know, you see that hole right there. That's not track builder. Track builder track, it's got that little D, that semi-circle cut right here. So that means there's probably a hole on the other side. That means, well, that's kind of good because then the track's going to be uh, locked into this piece here. Now, how's it going to work? You look at it. What happens when you have a, uh, a launcher so close to an incline like this? <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, the car's going to go like this. Whee! I don't know. People ask me, how do you design your layouts? Well, how did I design it this time? I started here because this is basically one piece. The track goes in, comes around the loop, comes around. So this is one piece from here to there. You can't change it. This has to be like this. So from there, I decided to put a little, I gotta get back over there. I can't, can't keep going because I'm gonna be off the table. So I'll send it there, then I decided to send it around. Then I thought I need to come along the edge of the table because I got busy stuff here. Let's come along the edge of the table. And then I had it right to here. That's it. All of this over here was the last thing that I did. As a matter of fact, this is what I thought I was going to do. I just connect this right here. And look, I go right back into my circuit loop, come back around, nice and tidy. The only problem is they will come out of here. They be going pretty fast. Well, they're going pretty fast. Then they hit this. Well, now they go faster and faster and faster. 
They were crashing. They were crashing too much. So I could not use this. I had to slow them down. And that's why I came out with this little thing right here. It slowed them down a little bit. And this was a deciding factor. Some cars couldn't handle this. Some of the cars did just fine. Uh, I got them mixed up. You can't tell who did well and who didn't over there. But this was pretty cool. I like using the parts. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use any parts. But what I do want to know are those finish line flags individual? How about this bridge? This bridge might come in handy, this little support right here. Uh, this thing here, <laughs> you know, you, what's going to happen right here? You have the car going up, and even if they come down, this thing right here is boingy, boingy. There's no support right here. I want to check these out as well. Let me go ahead and work right here. Let's just take this apart and slide it I'm going to shoot some more videos on this track layout. I'm working on the epic track battles. So I might have some cars appearing on that set. So here we go. Let's just open it up. So here's one. Now we're going to, it's going to need to have flags. So there's going to be sticker sheets, right? Let's see. Two launchers, rubber band, track pieces. Here's your riser and connectors. Got some track. And anything else? Oh, yeah, we got to have the other one. Now, let's see. Uh, look, the finish line flags, they're not even connected. So now we know for sure how does it determine the winner because both flags are going to. What's the point in the flags? I could eyeball it and see who wins at that point. I took out the cars. You have stock car in light blue, and this one right here is horseplay. Mm, I think they were regular issues. By the way, I did find the sticker sheet, so I got checkered flags on my finishes here. And when I when I talk about them, you know, I'm not being negative as if look. Some kids would just have fun. It's all right, but as far as having a competitive race, how can you got it? You understand? Here's the connectors. These are a little bit older before track builder, I believe. So it'll be nice because the track pieces will lock in. They'll stay together. Came with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces of track, short sidewall. And let's see, they are uh, yeah, 11 and 3 quarters inches long. And looking at the box, I thought that this side and this side were even, but actually in the instructions, it's three pieces of track going in and one coming out of the curve into the finish. Let's go ahead and talk about that curve because uh, I can get to it close. Otherwise, it's gonna be way over there. When you connect it, uh, you got like a gap right here. The way this is molded, uh, it's, you know what, it's, it's, you have that gap on both sides too. You can't make this straight. So if you get this and you're gonna try to make this even to where you get rid of that gap, you just can't, you know why? Because that connector's in here, and the connector's being pushed right here, and it's making the track, uh, making the track uh, bend right there. It's all right. Let's try it out. It wound up taking quite a bit of room. You figure that's one foot. A curve is about two, three, four, five, six. Winds up taking up quite a bit of room, so I had to take away some of my track. Let's go ahead and try first with stock car. Uh, I do not have it lifted. You can see that. And over here, I got the flag set. Maybe you'll see it pop up. It's kind of far away. Let's see how many notches this has. It looks like one, two, three, maybe three or four. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Always start on the first, right? So one notch. Here comes stock car. Stock car. Let's get the camera up. Hello. One's good enough to get it around. I reset the flag. Let's do two notches. Here comes horseplay. Still able to handle that curve. It's time for three notches. Stock car. Is it going to be too much, too fast? Is he going to fly out of the curve? He did all right. I think he did pop up right here, though. Let's try uh, full power, four notches. Horseplay. 
Oh, I think I forgot to reset. Hold on. Say go. <laughs> Too fast. That's four. Go. Well, he's upside down, but he stayed. He, he got through there. He was upside down going around the curve. Here's the riser. Has a little flag right here. But if you notice, there's no notches on the inside. Piece of track. It just lays there, which is kind of good because you could use it for different things. And look, it's got a little spot if I want to brace this, if I use it for a track layout and I need to brace it. It has some nice flat edges for bracing. I put the riser before the curve, one notch. Two notches. Uh-oh. Let's try stalker with two notches. Yeah, see? I, that's what I was telling about on the box. What's going to happen when you have a launcher before a curve like that? Now I put the riser after the curve. You can see it right there. Horseplay, one notch. Two notches. Wait. <laughs> Come on! Three notches. <laughs> Come on. It's not very sturdy. It's not very stable. Oh, four notches now. Oh, I don't want to do four notches because then I got to go dig them up behind the boxes over there. Oh, you knocked it all down. It looks like it's a 90 degree curve when the car comes into the curve, come across, but it's not because look, it's kind of bending in right here. It's bending in when really. It should be coming straight in, straight out. So they're not exactly exact. I'm not going to be able to use it for like a, a, a 90 degree. This would be 90, now 180 to bring it right back. Can't use it for that. But I thought if I set it up like this, maybe I'll be able to use them to like in areas where I need to slow down the car because of these curves. I don't know. Let's try that out. Two notches. You heard it, right? Uh oh. That's not good. When a car comes out of that first curve, this track right here, this is bent in because of the way this whole thing is tweaked. You're going to have to, I don't know if you, you're going to have to pinch and flare. That's what you're going to have to do. One thing about these price stickers, they always have this comparable value 20 bucks. I don't know if I've seen it for 20 bucks before or not. I might have. Let's talk about it at $13. You get two quarter curves, which, eh, I don't know. You get one of these risers, mm, maybe. Couple launchers. Uh, come on, you guys probably have tons of launchers, right? Comes with connectors. And what, eight pieces of track? So I guess eight feet of track. Uh, oh, yeah, don't forget, you have these uh, finish lines. Might be fun for some to play with if you don't have them. You know what? I don't know. At $13, mm, maybe if you got the Hot Wheels Turbo Race set as a gift or if you decided to buy it for yourself, it's okay. You have parts that you can use. I'm not sure if I'll be able to use any of them for myself, but we'll see. I have a lot of track time videos I can do. If you missed my reviews of the Power Loop or Super 6 in 1, Track time and my Hot Wheels track set reviews playlist. Thank you for watching. Have fun with your toys. Bye bye.